Hi guys, welcome to AKA Art Life. It's Thrifty Thursday, and today we're going to make a puppy snuffle mat for Jesse. for joining us. If you're new to our channel, welcome. This is my puppy, Jesse. He's about seven months old and he is a ball of energy. And we need something to keep him busy. For those of you guys who have stuck around for a while, you've met Jesse and you've seen his antics. So last night we took him to his puppy class and he was feeling a little restless and causing some trouble and barking at the neighboring dogs and stuff. And the teacher came over and she said, you know what he needs? He needs a snuffle mat. Now I had never heard of a snuffle mat. I did not know what that was. So she had one that she brought over and let him use. And he played with it while we were in class. Let me tell you, this thing is gonna be a lifesaver. And I was like, I have got to figure out how to get one of these. Now you can buy these on Amazon for like 30 to 50 dollars but the materials to make them are really cheap and it seems pretty easy to make so we're gonna give it a try today and see how we do and I think Mr. Jesse will really enjoy it so a snuffle mat is simply a mat with lots of pieces of fabric that you hide treats and kibble in it and the dog has to use his nose and sniff around and find the treat. So it gives him something to do and um, helps him to sort of solve a puzzle. This is a perfect activity for dogs that are very into treats and very busy and you want to keep them occupied for a little bit. Also, he loves to root around in the grass and eat random bugs and stuff. So I think the idea of rooting around with his nose and looking for treats will be appealing to him. Sorry, he's squeaking his squeaky toy right now. He needs some new toys. So let's make him a snuffle mat. Okay, there are only two things that you need to make this and neither of them are expensive and they were easy to find. So this sink mat is what I'm using. You can also use, some people use a rug, but the sink mat is great. It's a small size. It's a, about one foot by one foot and it has all these holes in it and it's rubber so he can't really chew through this very easily. Um, so you need one of these. I got this from Bed Bath & Beyond for five dollars but if you had the coupon you could get 20% off. And then the other thing you are going to need is fleece. When I went to Hobby Lobby fleece was on sale 30% off. So I got all of my fabric for less than $10 and I think this is gonna be more than enough for this project so I'll probably have enough left to use it for other projects or make another one of these mats uh, as a gift for our friends with dogs. Then we're going to start by cutting the fabric into small strips. I don't think that they, you have to be perfect, just a bunch of strips and we're gonna, I'm gonna do probably about an inch wide probably about six to 12 inches in length. And I think I will vary the length of my fabrics so that in the end, the snuffle mat has a variety of different lengths. That'll give it some texture. Okay, so I have no idea how many strips of fabric this is going to take, but I started by cutting around 100 strips. And so this is approximately 30, 35, um, of each color and I've also cut them in varying lengths because the one that we looked at had different lengths and I think that it was more interesting looking and bonus I didn't have to do a ton of measuring I just kind of loosely cut about an inch these are about an inch and a half and these are anywhere from 8 to 12 inches in length and so yeah let's get started basically all you got to do is tie these on in different directions and then we're gonna fill in you could do as many you know as you want depending on how full you want it the nice thing about this craft is it does not have to be perfect 
And all you're doing is literally cutting strips of fabric and tying them in a knot. So this will be the back side here. And we'll do rows of different fabrics. I'm gonna just make it random. I'm not gonna try to do a pattern. And um, if these end up being too long, I may trim them later. So there's really no wrong way to do this. So if you think you're not crafty, guess what? No excuses, anybody can do this. This is the easy part. I'm going to pop in a movie and just start tying these knots. And then I will report back to you guys whenever I have the whole thing finished. <laughs> the dog will report back to you and let you know what he thinks. Two hours later. Okay, I'm all finished. Do you guys want to see the results? Ta-da! Here it is, the finished snuffle mat. And I know Jesse's going to love this. I know because he got a hold of it earlier before it was finished. And even without the treats, he went crazy over this thing. So I'll show you what the back looks like. It basically looks like one of those pot holders you made, you know, when you were a little kid. Um, these are just all woven in. And you can do, like I started out, you can see down here where I started out doing every single row each direction but then it was getting really thick and it was using so much fabric i realized i was going to run out so i started making them a little bit farther apart but you really can't tell so there is no wrong way to do this which makes it an amazing project um so i used most of these up which means i used about one and a half yards of fabric so that gives you a good estimate if you're going to make this I would suggest going ahead and buying two fa uh, yards of fabric just to make sure you have enough or um, you know about uh, two feet of each of these um, pretty colors whatever colors you want I used three different patterns but you could do or three colors you could do whatever you want and I'm just gonna tie this one last piece here and call it done. I will say towards the end, it gets a little harder because they're close together. And so I found it was useful to grab a chopstick or something else that'll help you get the pieces through and then you literally just tie it. Now you don't have to double knot this, one knot is sufficient. Um, but I forgot to say this earlier, as a warning, don't leave your dog unattended. This is supposed to be a toy that's supervised, a supervised play toy, as most of their toys should be. Um, because you don't know if your dog could end up getting a piece off, they could choke on it or something. My dog is an aggressive chewer, even though he's a small dog, so I won't be leaving this toy with him unattended. So now, this is the fun part. I'm gonna fill this with some treats and kibble and we'll see what he thinks of it. Okay, so I have the leftover kibble from Jesse's breakfast this morning. I'm literally just going to sprinkle this around into the mat, and then I'm gonna dig my fingers in and sort of bury the pieces. So the game is he has to, can y'all hear him? He knows what I'm doing, he's so dang smart. He's fussing because he can, he knows what I'm up to and he wants this really bad. Come here, come over here, sit. What a good boy you are. Wait, wait. Okay, it's all yours. Dig in. for a while so we'll let him enjoy his snack thank you so much for watching my video I hope this inspired you to make your own inexpensive dog toys making your own dog toys is a great way to be thrifty and to show some love to your pet 
And I think that Jesse here approves of my project. So, thank you so much for watching. If you're new to our channel, don't forget to subscribe. We have all kinds of interesting videos and Thrifty Thursdays. We will see you next time. And in case we don't see ya, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks so much.